Hi, I'm Mark Hubner with PVC Linear, and in this video we're going to look at the new adjustment features on the Low Profile Ready Rail series. All right, here what we have is the original design for the Low Profile Ready Rail, and what you notice here immediately are these cams that the uh, double row ball bearings that ride on these hardened steel raceways. You'll notice that these are the same. These are fixed on both sides and uh, they come factory preset and the, uh, they work quite well and the overall height here is 19 millimeters for both of these styles of carriage but there is no adjustability so that over time and uh, wear and vibration and things you, that you can take any play out of the system. So these are often used in, in applications where you can't get at the, the slider but uh, for those applications where you can and you need some adjustment we have this version here that's just come out for the low profile and you'll notice the height here is the same. This is 19 millimeters, the same height as the original design, but you'll notice some difference here in that this side we have fixed bearings, but this side we have bearings that are mounted on eccentric adjustable cams. And uh, as I flip this over you'll see also there are some lubricators here on this, uh, on this slider. They're also available for the original version. but. Uh, these are here and then again you have your fixed and then your adjustable. So what I want to show you real quick is how to make that adjustment. Now you notice I've set this up deliberately with a little bit of play there and uh, that can happen over time as bearings wear or as there's vibration in the system and you want to take that, that play out of it. You'll need to remove whatever plate or gripper or whatever you may have mounted to this in order to make this adjustment. But all it takes is a simple Allen wrench and either a, a, an open end wrench or a crescent wrench in this case and you'll want to loosen that set screw and then pivot that eccentric cam to where now it's a little less play, pivot it a little bit more and I can now, all of the play is out of the system there. Now you'll not want to over tighten this because then you're going to over preload the bearing against that rail and uh, that will cause premature failure there and you'll, you'll shorten the life of the bearing. So find that sweet spot where there's just contact and then tighten that set screw back down. All right, at that point you'll want to use some thread locker, something to lock that in place and uh, you've taken all of the play out of the system with that slider. Now I want to show you a second version of adjustment that's also available, uh, newly released for the low profile ready rail and uh, here flip this over and we have slide or uh, lubricators here squeeze those and fit this on now what what I want you to notice first is that there is a height difference with this version of adjustment this is 24 millimeters high from the bottom of the rail to the top of the carriage compared to the 19 millimeters but some advantages that you'll have with this slider is that uh, the adjustment can be made from the side here you'll see a couple of set screws and you'll notice that uh, the cam here is fixed but over here is sort of a little half round cam. This is an eccentric cam that allows that bearing to pivot again. Now you see I again deliberately set this up with a little bit of play to show you this adjustment. Now to do this again all you need is an allen wrench. I want to back this set screw off so that I release the tension that is on this cam. So as I back this off, I then want to tighten up the other side and you'll see how it begins to swivel that cam around. And as it does, it's moving the bearing around that eccentric, closer to the rail, and taking the play out of the system. So back this off a little more, tighten the other side up a little more. Now remember the advantage here is I didn't have to remove the plate or the gripper or whatever I had mounted to the top. I can make this adjustment from the side. So now I've adjusted that a little more and there's very little play now. So I'm almost to that sweet spot. A little bit tighter. I can feel it tightening up there. And that's just about exactly right. So once I have it in location, then I go back to the opposite set screw, tighten it down and put the tension back in the system there. And these are now tightened in place, no play in the system, and I have a very low friction, uh, high speed slider, 
I want to go back and use thread locker again on these set screws so that they don't move. And that's the, uh, the two versions of the adjustment for the low profile ready rail series.